Hello then, Unfungible Gang. What is up? Hope everything's going fantastic. Another little video here about risky business. So today's topic, shady sites. Quite a bit of research on this because mostly these are scams. Now normally people would say stay away from those shady sites. And you know, they are not wrong. Honestly, this is probably the most risky things you could be doing out there. So what do I mean by these shady sites? These sites that will basically say, put in X amount, hold it here for a while, get 2X, 3X in a week later. Now you have to do quite a bit of research on this because mostly these are scams. Now, there's a very small amount that will pay out, but they will die out very quickly. So let's get to it. How do you find those decent shady sites that actually pay out? Well, you would go to these audit sites, which are, there's a couple around. So you just have to find one that you trust enough to possibly invest in some of their audits. So you can go to their verified projects, scroll through all the ones that they have. And I would recommend only looking in ones that have really high ratings, but even with high ratings, you have to be careful with those. I'll explain why in a second. We have BNB Daddy open <laughs> as well and we'll open up a couple others. Even if it's a low rating, I would recommend if it interests you to look into it as well because some of these also do pay off up to a point. So let's get started with BNB Energy. BNB Energy is a site that does pay out very little over a very long time. They now have BNB Energy along with Cake Energy. So these two are both interesting projects. So you can do BNB Energy or Cake Energy. Both of these are okay but they will pay out over a very long time. So you can go to your own little factory, you put in uh, a, an amount of cake and you can, over time, you see how much you're taking out essentially. So this goes up every day. And even though it's very little, it's something extra and the ROI takes a very, very long time. It advertises a 6% ROI daily and that is not true. You do have to be careful with that because a lot of these sites will advertise a really appealing ROI and it won't actually pay it out. So, and if you are gonna invest into something, test it out with a very small amount, something that you are not too worried about losing because these are very shady sites and the vast majority will just take your money and walk away. In this example, Cake Energy does pay out, but in a very, very long time. Now, if we look into the higher rated ones, for instance, BNB Daddy, we can actually go to the site and this is why I say to really look into the site before you invest into something because here we can see that people did this already with certain amounts and we're gonna check that. So we can go check the contract right now. I really recommend looking into whatever project you're gonna invest in a whole lot, especially if it's in these shady sites because the contracts are available to everyone to see. So if you want to see them and see if they actually pay out, that's the easy way to see if a project's real or not just by looking at their history of transactions. We can see that there's people depositing. Okay, that's good that there's a good intake, but uh-oh, what's going on here? The withdrawals are zero. But you might be thinking, oh, okay, maybe they just flipped and they didn't bet right. Well, yeah, that would be true. But if we keep going back, if this is supposedly 50-50, there should be a lot of people depositing and a lot of withdrawals with actual balances. This right here up front tells me that this project is a no-no because Going through the contracts, it's not paying out. If you want to risk it and test it out for yourself, that's on you, but it is not recommended since you can look at the history of the transactions. Now let's look into another project such as BNB Day with a lower rating, but I know that this one does pay out because I've tested it myself. I did a small amount and then I got extremely greedy and I lost it. So if something does work and it's on a shady site, keep doing small amounts. <laughs> Don't go crazy. Don't be like me. Now, why do I mention this site? A lot of sites are based off this method of paying out in plans. You, you can do a smaller plan of one day, but you'll be getting a lot less than you would in seven days. But before you actually try to go into this, you have to check the contract because to see if people are actually withdrawing. If we click the most recent one, we will see that he has got nothing. He didn't get anything. But the only people who will get money out of it is if they withdraw immediately after a person invests. So this person put in a bunch to BNB. So the person who just immediately withdrew right after that is very likely to have gotten 1.13 BNB because he had his available for withdrawal available in that point. A while back ago, I put uh, 0.87 and 
you can withdraw on a daily basis, every hour if you like, whatever number was there appealing to you, as long as there was money in the contract. If there's no money in the contract, you withdraw nothing. If there's money in the contract, you will withdraw whatever is visible here. Now looking to another site, BNB Go. At exact copy and paste of BNB Day, but if we go into the site, it's gone. Rug pull. These happen a lot in these shady sites. So you have to be extremely careful in what you choose to be in. So let's check another random site, BNB Farmer. If we click the site, we'll see if it loads. So here we see the site that has the same method of paying over time. So with this one you get 2%, this one you get 5%, and the total tells you how much you get over time. If you want a 2x your investment, then you would have to hold it here for 100 days. That's a little over three months. Now, is it good to do this? Well, if there's a lot of money in the contract here, then it would be a fantastic idea. But as we can see here, there's no money here. There's nothing. So people here have been trying to withdraw, but they're not getting anything out of it because there's nothing in the contract that allows money to be distributed. If there's money in the contract, then money can be distributed throughout all the people doing this. But if there's not, no one can claim. So people have to constantly be adding money so other people can be taking out money. And there's a bunch of these sites, all varying on what coins you use. An example, BUSD, BNB, Cake, USDT, whatever coin there is, there's very likely one of these sites available. And you just have to check if there's money in the contract, which there isn't. People are trying to withdraw and they're not able to. An example, if you were gonna get into one of these projects, which I recommend you don't because there's so much risk involved, is that you have to be there the moment these sites show up. And how do you find out when these sites show up? Join any one of these telegrams and you'll start being spammed by these projects starting to show up to you. <laughs> and in that spam, some of those will be decent sites that you might want to look into, all based on the same plan basis. I would recommend using the shortest plan the moment that project opens up. And after your first successful withdrawal, only use your profits to compound and continue gaining so you don't lose anything from that point on. So again, what did we learn here? Shady sites can pay out if there's money in the contract, which in every site, it should be publicly visible or stay away. Verify each site that the numbers that appear on the site go with the contract and try to only go into a project if you know that you'll be able to get your money out if you're one of the first couple people to do this. If not, then I really don't recommend you to do this because this is risky business. And have a great day, guys. Good luck out there. Please do your own research and stay safe.